Cancer. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week holds for my Cancers. What does the week hold for Cancer? What is the week hold for Cancer? What's going on for my Cancer collective? All right. The Six of Wands. Very nice. Promotion. Winning. Resting on your principles and your morals. Uh, coming out unscathed. Uh, it's coming out of some scandal, too. It could be a cheating scandal. It could be any something scandalous here. You you got to around it. You are walking off, you know, strutting your stuff as you walk off. You win. You win the, you know, you win this battle here. Um, you, you're betting on yourself. You choose yourself here. What is going on for cancer this week? Uh, you could be done with the Leo. Something about harmony and balance here. Enlightenment. People are seeing you. People are noticing you again getting a lot of attention maybe even help in business uh help with business um let's see what's the external influence here what's the external influence for cancer external influence the world very nice all right so something is coming full circle you are closing out a chapter in your life and moving on it could be from a fixed sign of uh, Leo. We got Leo showing up here too. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, it doesn't have to be. You've learned a lesson here and you feel like you just need to close out the cycle and move on. It's best for you to do that and for you to have achievement. You also are like getting some type of accolade here or you're winning something or you, you've gone to the next level in terms of, you know, moving to the next level i'm going to college I'm, i've gotten engaged i've got my first job in my career i'm getting married i'm having a baby so something is where you're you're moving to the next level in life um either creating a new chapter or a whole nother book altogether. but there is um progression here achievement let's see and how is another person an external energy coming to this reading for cancer how is external energy the king of wands okay so you could be dealing with aries sagittarius leo if you're not you're dealing maybe with another a male cancer um um the external energy another person is coming into the reading is looking at you they have their eyes on you they're centered and focused on you they're trying to manifest something with you Something that involves you. Um, this person's heart's desire is to do something with you. The um, King of Wands here is to move forward in something. Um, they have gotten enlightenment about something and now they want to move to toward you. Could it be this Aries Sagittarius Leo? Leo coming up heavy. Um, some of you could have placement in Leo or you could be like rising Leo or on the cusp of Leo um, yeah okay uh, some of you could be entrepreneurs too there's somebody who is desiring to talk to you to be around you um, they're not moving though uh, I don't know if they feel as if it's if it's not safe to move it doesn't have to be uh, a fire sign, but it could be somebody with fire in their chart. A very dynamic man, masculine energy here. Um, somebody who could already be married. If they are married, they, they act very independent, even within their marriage. You know, they come off as single. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of fire showing up here, so a lot is getting done this week. There could be maybe your father, your, your father is watching you, uh, your father is guiding you, your father is with you, is what I'm hearing. Um, what's the outcome for cancer this week? The outcome for cancer this week. 
uh, or the father of your children is you know, watching you. Outcome for Cancer this week. Outcome for Cancer this week. Ooh, the Three of Swords. Okay, so breakdown in communication, separation, divorce, heartache, alienation, isolation here. Um, not wanting to talk. Could be a third party stirring up trouble within a connection. The Ten of Wands. A neat, so there's a lot of activity here. Could be with an air sign. Gemini, Libra. Libra highlighted Aquarius. Someone with Libra in their moon. I believe so. Um, this person could have broke your heart. You broke their heart. There's something where you guys are not talking. There's a breakdown in communication. And it could be due to an outside party. Something outside of you to cause interruption, disruption to where you guys are not talking. There could have been actual tears. Um shed about this connection here somebody feels like they just have to put it down they have to put this connection down it's too heavy to bear it's too much of a burden they don't know where it's going it just seems as if it's just a lot of activity a lot of doing and no actual end um somebody felt as at one time that this was their perfect connection perfect union perfect match perfect sexual connection a destined connection they were a little bit you know obsessed and infatuated with it or with this connection or this person but now there's an energy of someone feeling like they need to release relinquish or sacrifice uh, this connection they need to um, but it's also I don't know like somebody wants to come back it's like I've had enough of being outside of this connection now I want to come back somebody's waiting for the opportunity to come back to have this relationship back interesting it looks like there's a lot of players in this too a lot of different energies in this also um, a lot of new starts maybe elsewhere or false starts between you and this person Someone's feeling neglected and ignored and then they want to communicate and they want to it's like somebody wants you and another person they want the opportunity to come to do something with you I don't know have, have sexual encounter with you um, change something about how you guys operate this seems like a long time coming and it also seems like it's going to be a long process if this comes together let me see um no i don't really see that i don't see a lot of communication between the two of you if there is um it just makes somebody else even more standoffish somebody feels like they need to put the connection down it's too heavy it, it weighs too much on them it's too burdensome it's um exhausting it's ex yeah somebody's overly dramatic exhausting or drama queen or drama king um but then but then at the same time there's the energy of somebody wanting to come back together so cancer this is what i have for you this week if it resonates go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel thank you Cancer, many blessings.